Hi friends, James Vanstone here from JV Coaching and today I'm going to talk to you about imagination and the importance of imagination in our lives moving forward in this year of 2021, moving forward and why imagination is so important, how it links to hypnosis and how you can benefit from hypnosis right now. So hypnosis then, friends, is pure focus. It's nothing but pure focus. And next to pure focus, we have imagination. So in other words, hypnosis, pure focus and imagination are all three of the same. They're like a triple braided cord, very powerful for achieving whatever it is that we want to achieve, whether you know we want to start feeling better each day, we want to have better mental wellness, we want to get rid of a bad habit, we want to achieve more business goals, we want to be better socially, it's unlimited. So hypnosis offers us all of these opportunities through imagination and pure focus. Now, what it is, it's that between the ages of four and 11, roughly between the ages of four and 11, as children, we, have this wonderful pure focus constantly. We use our imagination. We pretend, we play games, we run around. We're always in the moment. We absorb the moment, we appreciate the moment. And what happens is we get to the age of 12, we go to secondary school, the critical component starts kicking in. Teachers, parents, uh, we join groups, we become closed off with our minds and um, we become more judgmental not only of others, but of ourselves. So what hypnosis does, hypnosis allows you to tap in to that wonderful, creative, imaginative faculty so that you can achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. So I'm just gonna run through very quickly now uh, a quick example of how hypnosis works at a very basic level using your imagination. Now, do not try this if you're operating machinery or you're doing a parachute jump or you're driving a car or you're skiing or anything where it could be a danger because you, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. And obviously, common sense prevails. Don't close your eyes if you need to be focused in whatever it is you're doing right now um, for your own safety. Okay, so what I want you to do is we're gonna take three deep breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Then I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes, then you're gonna become very relaxed, and then I'm just gonna ask you to imagine something, okay? Here we go then, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, Breathe out and just close those eyes now. And as you close those eyes, just allow yourself to become deeply relaxed. That's it, just let go of any stresses, strains, concerns, anxieties or worries, that's it. And now as you relax there, I want you to imagine that you're eating your favorite fruit. Just imagine now that you're biting into that favourite fruit. I don't know what it is, but you do. You can imagine that fruit now as you bite into it, start enjoying it and savouring it. Just, just savour and enjoy those flavours of that fruit now. I'm just going to give you a couple more seconds. That's it. Taste the fruit. Taste that fruit, whatever it is. Enjoy that fruit now. Taste it. Savour it. That's it. And on the count of three, I'm going to flip my fingers and you're going to come back into the room. So ready. One, two, three, back into the room. So that, friends, is a very, very basic example of hypnosis, how it uses the imagination and how we drew on the gustatory faculty. So your taste sense to actually imagine something. So in the next session, I'm going to show you how we use our imagination in another powerful way. But this was just the basics for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Please share, like and have a great and wonderful day. Bye.